So before we talk about filtering your business ideas, I want to give you some information. When entering the market, all startups start small and modest. In every industry that you aim to create a business in, nine times out of 10, there also exists a monopoly that dominates a large share of that market. Most people make the mistake of trying to compete with that monopoly, but not you. What you should focus on with your business ideas is identifying ways that your startup could start within a very small niche market. As you're beginning your business journey, you don't wanna fight big businesses and you don't wanna begin in too broad or general market category. Instead, you wanna create a business that provides a large amount of value to a small niche undeserved audience. So as you review your list of MVP ideas, you wanna ask yourself, what small niche audiences can you serve with your MVP? Based on your market, how can you provide value with your MVP in a different, unique way? So to help filter your MVP ideas so that you're starting with a good group that can provide you the best chances of success, go back and review your MVP ideas list and cross off any general market ideas on your list. The purpose of your MVP is to identify specific detailed groups of people that you can serve with your solution. And within those people, you wanna identify specific detailed ways that your MVP solves a problem or provides a solution for unmet need. I wanna remind you, there exist millions of businesses that have products and services for customers to choose from. Even with all that competition, there are still needs that people have that are not being met. Think about that. In the market you're trying to pursue, there exists a monopoly, but even within that monopoly, there are still needs in that population that they can't solve. What that means is there is still opportunity for you to achieve success. That is why creating a business can be extremely difficult because not all business ideas are good. So what you wanna do is take some time and filter your business ideas and identify the ones that will provide the best potential for a business. So when you're focusing on identifying these good potential business ideas, go back and do some research again. Go back and look at the market you're trying to enter and browse your competition. Look at their websites, look at their platforms and identify what people are saying about them. And through that information, you should be looking for the things that people are saying that they still need. Your whole focus with this research is to look around and to brainstorm and identify what you haven't seen within your competition. Identifying what is missing from what they provide and to begin crafting business ideas that serve, again, small niche potential customers that solve problems that are currently not being solved. Based on your results, you should be able to explore possible ways that you could turn your MVP into a solution for a niche group of people. Remember, you don't have to serve everybody. All you need to do is provide value. And the higher the need, better the potential opportunity for a good business idea.